Move your body, girl. Okay. Get it. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy RBG here, and my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't ever seen. And if you're read by the title, you know it's time to go on some ninjutsu action with some more TMNT 2012 reaction, y'all. Oh, last time you guys saw our introduction, not the proper introduction, because we weren't able to show you guys our reaction to episode one because we kind of did that in live real time when we were just casually sitting down watching TV. And, you know, as you guys heard, we really enjoyed episode one, which is what motivated us to watch episodes two and three. So we hope you guys enjoyed those reactions, especially by the time they hit YouTube. You know, uh, if you guys want everything back to back to back, you know, shell shock action, subscribe to the Patreon for the tier two you know, for just five bones a month. But yeah, last time we left off, man, we saw um, an enemy, um, I'm guessing his name was Spider Bite. Well, that's what they named him, because he's a spider and he bites. Yeah, he was basically like this neck beard first. It was right? a little disgruntled for all the right reasons, because Raphael and Michelangelo broke his satellite. And, you know, and to get that get back, he had got some footage of them that right? he was going to sell... I guess to the internet. I don't know why he didn't sell it to the internet. I don't internet. know where he was going to sell it to. I'm like, was he going to sell it to TMZ? TMZ or was something? Was he going to put it on YouTube? He wouldn't have been able to get monetized that quick. Right. I don't know where he was going to sell it to, but he had him a plan or so he thought up until... He got turned into a big ass spider, a big chibi looking spider too. It was kind of cute. Until right. Until he started spitting all that weird acid shit out. Yeah, he, like, he was on some extraterrestrial shit. Sexy. But he wasn't sexy beforehand, anyway. No, but he, he did wasn't. get better looking after he got turned into a damn right. Array. So, um, yeah, they're trying to chase after him. At first, I was really hard on the dude. Then I was like, I feel bad for him. And he, you he know, wasn't his satellite was broke. But I, his satellite dish got broke, and that was not his fault. You got some idiots on your roof fighting and acting a fool, and now you got to pay for a new satellite dish. The least you can do. Is let me post this video of you or sell this video so I can at least be able to afford a new satellite dish. Because he was living up in New York and a satellite dish up in New York probably cost about $50 million. Right. Yeah. Everything in New so. York is expensive. I don't know how y'all do it. That's why y'all need to start living on the sewers too. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they going to start charging for that too then. Yeah. And they catch on. Right. But uh, it seems like the premise, or at least for a little bit, it's going to be kind of like a monster of the week kind of thing. Or somebody touches mutagen or whatever kind of species interacting with that mutagen, they're going to turn into that. And I heard Ralph's pet name was Spike. And all my Ninja Turtle enthusiasts out there know don't what I'm talking about. For me now. Yeah, I'm not spoiling nothing. You know, I don't know if it's going to happen this way, but I'm hoping it does. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump to this next episode. This is going to be episode four titled New Friend, Old Enemy. Mm. Let's do this. Is that Shredder? Ooh. Let me quit before I hit you. Hoi. Sit. Hoi. Me. So. Get the shit out of here. Ooh! That's his classic outfit right there, too. Bitch. Who else wants some? Look, I got all my retro shit. Oh, they ain't even the shredder. Damn. Ain't even the shredder. I trust that my greatest pupil has been using that time wise with Mato Yoshi. Mato Yoshi alive. Wait, Shredder is what? He's trading ninjas. No, he just has a black voice actor. No, nah, why that dude look so dark? Finish what I started in the all picture. those years ago. Sever is familiar with the dark under the city. You will work together. Don't worry, Master Shredder. We will find Splendor and his disciples and destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> Stay down, motherfucker. Stay down. <laughs> what you gonna do? Do a little too thick for this? Really? This dude. Hey, what was that? You didn't do any flips. Oops. Save that shit for NST. NXT and AEW. Aww. Don't give up, Leo. He might actually win this fight. Aww. Damn. <laughs> it's a little kitty. 
And its name is... Cats are not that nice. Good guess. Wait, who said that? Mittens. Mittens? I think that's the owner. What are you doing? Hey, hey. Mikey, wait. wait. What? I'm returning Mittens to her owner. We'll be best buds. This is going to be awesome. No, hey. don't. Dude. Mittens. Hi. Here's your... No. Ugly green mutant freak! But I got your cat! Help! He's got my cat! Oh! <laughs> 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 that will show will do that. All right, just gonna switch They'll up on my super boy. They'll be nice to you, but when their owners start looking at you crazy, then there they go, trying to fight you. Right. Oh. Can you help me with this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm just saying, fuck the kid. Humans will never understand you, but I bet that guy would. Chris Bradford, yeah, Chuck Norris, the martial arts superstar, with a chain of dojos across the country. He's your soul. Chris Bradford. We've got so much in common. Hey. What if you stop standing like that? We'll have a little less in common, but still a lot. And look. He's in town for a martial They know what they do. Like <laughs> yeah, they do. Chris Bradford, Bradford sounds like and I'll show him my secret what could be a truck horse. Secret so that's about from Resident Evil. Catchy. Chris Bradford. Check it out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that beautiful Joe pose. With everyone else on Earth. Don't be bullying your brother too bad now. Ninjas in New York. What do you mean? Y'all are ninjas, right? Right. So what the fuck are we talking about here? Uh oh. Let's go, guys. They look like they often to be just terrible. Right? Yeah, they used to get beat up all the time. Oh shit, never mind. There might be a little more. I think it's just because they're still kind of not coordinated yeah. with their movements and stuff together and how they do stuff. <laughs> right, you got probably got some other technique. Bitch. Oh, there go you with people to fight. So I'm like, well, you never heard of me. I'm Whistling Shredder. What? Right, Whistling Shredder. He got some Dollar General. Right? Ass, for real. Discount on the ass whooping right here. What's the code? Ooh, man, you messed up my boy Nunchucks. Oh. Vanish. Yeah. Oh, no foot ninja vanish. Fair fight. You know, where either side could win. So, a fair fight is a fight you could lose. Mm. Well, yes, but well, what, I, what I mean is... You don't want to assure your victory. No, I do, but... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> hey! My ninja, what did I tell you? No. Did I win? I see your point. So, Splinter's about to fight dirty. Right. Mm. There's no honor when it comes to being a ninja. That's one thing people don't realize. There's not. I no. They got a code. No, that's samurai. Samurai have code. Ninjas don't. They do shit behind the shadows. Oh, I wish me and Chris Bradford were friends. <laughs> you don't read magazines. Chris Bradford reads you, bitch. No. Me. April, you don't count. You saved your life. You have to like us. Too bad there's That's no cool. place for freaks to meet people where no one can see how hideous they are. The internet. There is. <laughs> the internet. Donnie, can I see your laptop? Are you sure? Just a second. He got her as a wallpaper. Check it out. Oh, oh, Chris Bradford's on here. He'll be my first friend. Mm. You got him on book face. Mikey, people don't always respond to me. Really? Sometimes they do. <gasps> and I might not even it's be a real thing. It's gonna be a catfish. gonna right. say talking to Chris Bradford. Man, get Neve up in here. Thanks, April. Where are you going? You okay? To hang out with my friend, Chris Bradford. That's really how some people view social media. Yeah, it's like maybe. because they got a friend request or some follower or something that they really got some people. Two hundred eighty-six. You, Daniel Ramirez, and I'm right next to him. Later. <laughs> Daniel Ramirez. I guess. I don't it's think like they have last names. Michelangelo Turtle. What up? It's like their name might be Turtle. Yoshi. I'm being attacked by Chris Bradford. This is so cool. Hey. No, wait. We're young friends. 
What? We're online friends! You accepted me, remember? I don't even know you. Of course. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's just so cute. He is. Won't you come in? Getting back to your sensei. Look, Red Brad, I'd love to tell Red you, Brad. but there's just some things I have to keep secret. <clears throat> <laughs> but don't it always be that one raggedy kid who just come in your house and just start seppy? <laughs> Shout out to my little brother. Tell you what, as a show of trust and friendship, I will teach you the death dragon. All right! But you have to swear not to show it to anyone. I promise I won't show a soul. And then he kicks, twists, and submits the leg. <laughs> the Death Dragon. Death Dragon. That Part was two. Yeah, it's devastatingly effective and complex. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, no. I, knew it. I already knew that. I seen it a mile away. Seriously, beat the ass, Splitter. The man who taught him that kata is no friend. It comes from the Shredder. Shredder? Watch out for Shredder. Bradford is one of his students? He must be. So Bradford's just pretending to be Mikey's friend to get to you. Brad, Brad? Hello? Hello? Brad is Brad checked out. No, it's Wish Shredder. <laughs> Black dude. JJ. Tell me what you've done with Chris. Jimmy Earl. Well, shit, I think I, no, I ain't got Jimmy Earl. Ooh, okay, he got some moves. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, little Capoeira. Damn. No, it can't be. You're the guy with the cat? <laughs> Night Stalker. Brad, Brad? What? He just looks so cute in his confusion. He do. I thought we were friends. Profound sadness. I you to all of my toes. You actually to my toes. someone like me could be friends with a freak like you. Why that are you so hateful? I get rid of him. Nothing would make me happier. Who of him to hurt this sweet animal's feelings? He's not an animal. He's um, a party animal now. I say, well, I don't know what turns are then. What is that? Nice. Somebody about to bust a freestyle to this beat. Gotta keep on. Coming in clean with the green. About to bust Dude, you in your spleen. Ah, they had eyes on him the whole time. I knew it. Yeah, that's why he didn't kill him. That was the trap. Go straight for the base to hide out. Man, that nigga's already gonna have to move. Look like a WWE wrestler with that on. He do. Look like on. Mick Foley He's in like, the face, like with Mick the Road Warriors. Ain't that yeah? Mick yeah. Foley with Road Warriors equipment, right? They couldn't say one thing. Show your faces. Uh oh, the pupils are gone, but the gloves are on. They trapped us. Take him down. Yes, use the environment, man. Hey. Ooh. This dude got more skill than we give him credit for. I thought he was going to be like a lackey that just No, used... I was like, this is the Afro Ninja right here. Right. I think I called his ass Afro Samurai earlier. I hope uh, I Afro Samurai. I'm going to be like, you uncultured idiot. Mm. Samurai and Ninja are two different things. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Use the darkness, use the environment, use everything. I like that. <laughs> ah, break him down. 
Look! Man, I fell out! Right. Ooh, nice. They knew we were following you. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> go, Mikey, go ahead. Please. Ooh. Yes, knock him out. Bitch. Look, I ain't t- take this thing off. Ooh. Hit it. Hit it. Splash, that'd have whooped your ass. Well, that didn't seem very fair. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I like how they led him to uh, like the wrong manhole. Shredder knows I'm alive. And worse, he knows about all of you. It's my worst nightmare come true. So it's not over? Oh no. It's just beginning. Mm. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. So it's not my fault? Of course it's your fault. Yeah, I like who else do you think is gonna be fault? If you tell the others, I'll beat the green off you. But you're an awesome guy. Radford didn't think so. Yeah. He's a, my he's face. <laughs> I thought this was what they said. Oh, I thought it said my space at first because it was blurry. You know what? You're right. Thanks, Rat. Anytime. Unfriend. Sometimes you gotta do it. Revenge. If Chris Brett was f- smart, he go just look up his uh, what do they call IP it? Address. IP address. Yeah. But I guess he'll have to figure out which house most shit. He would have to figure it out. He'll know it's underground. But guys, that was episode four titled New Friend, Old Enemy. I had an agony suspicion it was what it was, which is basically Chris Bradford, who was also the bad guy at the beginning, looking like Night Shadow or Night Stalker from um, the old 07 movie. Yeah, very good episode, man. Gotta give that one an A+. Plus. Yeah, I gotta give that one an A+. Plus. That was a pretty great episode. For real. And I like how they just continue to just pepper in parts of like Splinter's mm-hmm. past, which I enjoy, man. Because it's like, uh, it's like all this shit is coming back and it's like a build up gradually to it where Hamato Yoshi, which is Splinter, is going to meet up with a Wukusaki, which is uh, Shredder, you know, and they're going to battle it out, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I think Shredder going to whoop Splinter's ass, too. Really? I think so. You think that's how you're going to die? I mean, I don't know. Like, Splinter, even though, like, he's big up in this and he kind of small and the other ones, like you uh, pointed out, and he's not the most nimble, even though in the cartoon, the 80s cartoon, he was very nimble. He was punching them pieces of board and shit. But uh, I, I, I just don't know, man. Splinter seems like he has, like, the whole squad on his back. He got, like, different things now you know what i'm saying he got hit men that are more than capable as opposed Rock to bebop Shredder and Rex, rock steady yes has, Shredder just has the, the the turtles you mean splinter splinter you know what i mean yeah. yeah Shredder has all this other like he got a whole organization and splinter just sitting up there with just the turtles right they don't use their brain like half at the all time. it's like they they're not it's like third of the capacity yeah their personalities are so distinctive and different that it's going to be hard for them to just work in unison because they have strong ass personalities. You have one that's just balanced, go by the book, like to a fault. Everything's to a fault with everybody. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you got one that's just full of rage for no reason yeah. all the time. Then you got one that's like, let's do this the logical way all the time. Mm-hmm. And then one who's just an idiot. And uh, then the other one who I don't even know. Ah, what's the other one? To my Donna's elbow? Nope, we all. All right. I just say he's a mixture of everybody. Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello make up the group with one last fellow. Well, let me quit. But uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving to episode five, which is, I think his name is Baxter Stockman. That sounds like somebody. That just sounds like somebody. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I just mentioned this guy. I'm not going to reveal what it is, but I know what they're going to oh, do with okay, this well, one. Shit. But let's go ahead and get into this. You're grounded for a week. Woo! Damn it. It's Mikey's fault. Wow. It's all they fault for letting him do it. Remember, the other day, I was I about to see that military junkyard? I social media. Well, specifically for turtle people. Incredibly advanced AI microchips. Specifically for mutants. Get this. Self-assembled chain I got this girl polymers. that I've been talking to. I think this her name is Storm. Polymer. Mine too! And I use it to make this. The Ooh. most advanced music player in the world. That's that shit Kanye West just came out with. So who wants to try it? I do. Toss me the teapot. The teapot? 
Turtle, Pod, T Pod. <laughs> hey. So good kind of like the T phone. Right? The teapot touch really and the teapot made. Piece of military <laughs> technology directly into Mikey's head. Well, what if it melts his brain? Damn. It won't. And even if it did, who'd know the difference? Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Move your body, girl. Okay. Get it. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Mm. <laughs> I gotta get go, Ninja. Where go, Ninja. Going? Go. We're grounded. Oh, you think Michael Jackson? I gotta do something or I'm gonna I ain't never seen Michael Jackson do that. Uh, you're talking about that sound effect you made. You said he, he. Skate oh. Oh. I'm totally in. But I'm your leader. And as your leader, I say nobody's going. Well, as your followers, we're going in. Well, as your leader, I am going with you. Really? To lead you away from... Bad stuff. Ah! What's wrong? <laughs> it's back to polka! We've got to get some more tunes on this. About to go and roll. On you hoes. Ninja style, cause I'm going buck wild. Better go and call somebody to get your child. Cause Mikey coming through with the skateboard. And he's bored with the hordes of the zombies. Ain't no zombies out here, but he don't fear nothing. Better steer clear. Oh, with his tricks like he from Tony Hawk. About to go and do it. You can't be stopped. Yeah. Flip, 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 Awesome. <laughs> Guys, the ninjas, remember, we move swiftly. Right! Here's the important part. Silently. This dude, Eddie Murphy? Oh, this is Norbit? Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's just kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Found him a buy him an ice cream cone. Wow. Oh, villain! Huh? Really? Halt, villain? Who? I like it. We start talking like yeah, that. Yeah, old football, handheld games. Hot. You will feel the fury of my powered battle. Holy cow! You guys are turtles. <laughs> That's right. Turtles Finally, are somebody figured it out. I mean, just wow. Yeah, the corniness knows no bounds with Leo. I think this is Baxter Stockman. Okay. Break the fourth wall a little bit. <laughs> yeah, take that Urkel bot. Mm. All up in your shoulder pad game. Yeah, Y'all messing stuff up even more, man. In the trash. You're not the first to ever throw me in the trash, but I swear that you will be the last. <laughs> All right, we made it home. Dude, bruh, that is a common theme in this show. Shut the hell up. It's not epic. It was a really bad idea. No, it wasn't. We got out there and stomped the sleaze ball. So, what's the problem? Oh shit. The teapot. Where is it at? Really? Uh oh! Rise, Rodimus Prime. Are <laughs> you posing with it? <laughs> Okay, so it is TCRI. At last, I will have my revenge. Nice. Who are you? You'll never know. I'm the thing that haunts your nightmares. I'm the nameless shadow. Bro, you are Baxter. the worst villain on earth. Please. Baxter Stockman? No. Yeah. Hey, it's Baxter Stockman. 
Hey, you took the cat guy from the last episode. Look like it. Just because I fired you? That yeah. copy machine was already broken when I. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Add a little more auto tune. So <laughs> what? He has the teapot? Oh, um. Damn it, Mikey. Drop that during the fight. You dropped it during the fight? Nice going, Mikey! It's your fault! How's it my fault? You know I can't be trusted with nice things! <laughs> anyway, it upgraded the teapot? Mm. If it keeps going, there's no telling how powerful he'll get. This has gone way too far. We have to He's gonna get too powerful for his own what? good when he's if gonna he need the turtle's some help. Job into a super villain? Villain? Do you know what it'll do to us for that? I mean, he pounded us into the ground just for being sleepy. <laughs> if we stop him once, we can beat him again. We track him down, grab the teapot, and get back I mean, that's when he literally sucked. He was the like definition of sucked. Ready. Right. And so makeshift right. armor and shit. Thanks, Mikey. But it doesn't. Didn't think so. Captain, punch you hard. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Captain, punch, punch you hard, hard man. Sounds like a code name on Call of Duty. You guys again? All right, stop, man. Nobody wants to hurt you. We don't? Did I miss a meeting? We just want the teapot. Give up my source of power? Why? So you can laugh at me again? Throw me in a dumpster? That's the plan. Sounds good to me. Maybe they do. Rocket punch. What? Don't you know I am the precursor? Don't stand a chance, man. Who do you think 2014 Shredder got this shit from? Mm. Oh wow. Mm. What the? Damn. Oh, it's a mouser. Nice. I would not know what that is, but it don't look like it's Kevin playing no game. <laughs> it's like a classic uh, turtle enemy. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What's that supposed to do? You can always do that. Let's go. I like the extra accessories they got. Me too. Man, if his brother's hanging around, he might have been able to stop it. Yeah! What now, genius? Glass. There you go. Nice. Anybody order a tur turtle yo yo? Ooh, okay! Yes, let's get it. Nice. He even got like a blade on his shit. Nope. Ah! Super collider cool, explosion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, it's jacked up on metal steroids. <laughs> Foolish turtles. Did you really think you could defeat me? Well, oh, we thought. Yeah. All my life, people have laughed at me. The other kids in All my life, I have <laughs> The woman who fixes the copy machine. How was I supposed to know you don't put her in the top? They won't be laughing anymore. They'll tremble. Hey, he's evolving even more. What's happening? <laughs> the teapot. It's gonna evolve into a blender. Merging. They're becoming one single entity. We are now a part of the motherboard. Stockman Pied. <laughs> Mike could just come up with all That's of what these. You got yeah. Give me a giant iPod now. That's a stupid name. <laughs> ah, sense it. <laughs> I forgot that. I thought that it was being quiet to stay away, uh, so the criminal wouldn't hit him. Uh, Baxter, uh, what? Baxter told me. Well, what was I supposed to say? Meteor, cow. Like building? <laughs> Enough! Tell me what happened, but I'm still highly disappointed in you all. The first rule for being a ninja is do no harm. 
Unless you mean to do harm, then to lots of harm. <laughs> You're right, Sensei. I guess we did make a mess of things. So, what do you think would be a fitting punishment? We need to clean up our mess. Yes. You must stop this. Stop and then this you're going to be gone for about five years. But Sensei, that guy's already kicked our shells. And now he's even more powerful. You will need to rely on your ninja Can't tell training. Him Excuse me, Sensei, but ninjas never had to go up against guys in armor. Shit, we all think y'all finna be fighting in the near future. Right? Oh, <laughs> I mean, ninjas always had to go up against guys in armor. Not no high tech armor, though. Sensei, what was Not that? Not the 2014 see? movie. Are you sure this is gonna work? Like Sensei said, don't fight the armor, fight the guy inside. And one thing we know about bad guys, they love chasing Mikey. <laughs> Stop it, that was the Ooh, nice one. Shit. He ain't playing no games with y'all. This episode was sponsored by Michael Bay. All right. A little booty grease up in it, guys. I was trembling in terror. I'll you. You heard the little squishy sound. Right, I did. He eats it. You're going down. Any last words? Just one. Bruh, just because you got fired from your job don't mean you go and terrorize the city. <laughs> what did you get there from, my guy? That greenhouse that they crashed into. Yeah. <laughs> no, he is not going to be looking too hard. Looking like something from Sonic Frontiers. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I see a little makeshift armor. All right, I'm like, don't get this nigga no armor at all, please. So, right. We'll call it a tie. No more feelings. Want to call it a tie, rat? Not yet. <laughs> now it's a tie. <laughs> I am proud of you all. Does this mean we're not grounded anymore? Y'all probably yes. double grounded. Mm -hmm. But first, Randori! <laughs> yeah, I was like, just ground me, please. Yeah, I like how he says that. You know, that's like a different word for ass whooping. Oh, really? First, I'm about to beat your ass. Mm. You know, but guys, that was episode. What episode was that? Uh, shoot, episode five, man. That was a really good episode. I think his name is Baxter Stockman. First of all, what I love about this episode is that they actually used the original race. Of Baxter Stockman because I think in the 80s cartoon he was like a white red-headed guy but they kind of race bent up a little bit you know what I'm saying yeah in the comic books he's black but they race bent them up in the oh, uh, cartoon okay. yeah okay because I was like confused yeah and I think this is the second time he's black too because I think the 2003 version made him black as well except mm -hmm. he was a lot cool he kind of like OJ Simpson a little bit with a flat top but yeah man I, I like that yeah it was pretty good it's like seemed like a guy who really just wanted to Get back at his know. employers. Get get it back at his employers. Get his old job back. I don't know what he did. No, I don't think he wanted the job back. I think he just wanted to get back at the employers. And uh, just failed miserably um, until he didn't for about a few moments. And then he failed miserably again. Yeah. Yeah, because he... I don't know what the fuck he called himself doing with that makeshift arm he had on trying to lift shit. And then he was like, it's honestly sad. I was like, it kind of is. It is. It's it like is. you feel bad for him. It's like he's like, oh, the sympathetic character, which... Baxter Stockman has always been a sympathetic character, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure if they're going to follow the original source material of what he becomes, but yeah, it's like they're already kind of sowing the seeds, and I have a feeling that this isn't going to be our first and only time seeing him. He's going to be right, appearing like in later episodes. like he's going to get out of that trash can sooner or later, y'all. Yeah, man. For real. He's going to do something. I got a feeling Shredder going to probably come get him or something. Well, I'll give that an A+. I'm giving that A-plus too, y'all. Man, we having a blast watching these, man. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a blast watching them with us because, as always, we enjoy when you enjoy stuff with us, you know? So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, guys, if there's anything we may have missed or got misconstrued, be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us. Uh, I want to tell y'all to keep up the good work because y'all ain't seen these reactions yet, but... 
if you do, try to keep up the good work by not spoiling us because I'm enjoying this stuff and I know I blurt out stuff because it's just my Ninja Turtle fan personality fanboy just oozing out of my pores and I just want to understand what things are going to happen but I know my wife, she's kind of like... I don't know, kind of new. Not even necessarily new to the Ninja Turtles, but you just don't know. All I don't know, like the deep backstories and all that information. Right, because this so. is like thirty-five years of history right here with this show, or with the Ninja Turtles in general, because they they've been around for so long. But uh, yeah, man. Um, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Turtle, here with my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. TMNT 2012 edition. Peace.